Welcome to Manflow Yoga. It's yoga for guys. Hey guys, it's Dean with Manflow Yoga. Today's session is going to be a long session. It's going to be about 50 minutes. I'm estimating right now. It's going to involve a lot of stuff with your hamstrings, a lot of arm balances. We're going to also do some lower back strengthening exercises. So start off today in a mountain pose. So just root your feet. Get very in con get very comfortable with the ground. So grip the ground with your feet, bend your knees slightly, engage your hips, I'm sorry, engage your thighs, roll your core up, get a nice strong chest, nice long back, roll your shoulders up and then set them down behind you. Just be very aware of everything going on right now. Feel all the muscles in your body. Inhale your arms up, mountain pose, and then exhale to prayer. Inhale up, and try and reach straight up here, and then engage your core. Make sure your core is engaged as you're doing this. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Forward fold all the way down. Half lift. First half of the half lift of the day, you want to extend like someone's pulling your hair out toward the front. Makes the sides of your back as long as you can. Keep your knees bent slightly here. Your hamstrings aren't warm yet, so you don't want to block out your legs. Keep your neck in line with your back, so your head's looking straight at the ground. And then forward fold. Drop one leg back. And just stay in this little modified lunge for a little bit. You start warming your legs up. So grip the ground with your feet, push your heel back, and then switch. So drop your right leg back, pull your left leg forward, grip the ground with your foot, engage your back leg so that your knee is strong and off the ground. And then bring your left leg back to meet. Roll your body forward, engage your core, Lower your body just a little bit so your shoulder weights start to come together on the tips of your toes and lower down all the way to the ground. Elbows tucked into your sides. Flip up to a baby cobra, just warming up your back. And then press back into a down dog. Bring your left leg forward. And again, we're gonna do that little warm up. So just engage all the muscles in your legs. Try and bring your chest forward. Make sure that your thighs are engaged so that your knee is off the ground. And then switch again. So bring your right leg forward. Flex all the muscles in your legs. Then bring your right foot, left, sorry, left feet to meet your right foot. And come all the way up in the mountain pose. And then drop down into chair pose. So bring your thighs together. Your big toes are touching. Reach your arms straight up. For a little bit more shoulder opening here, you can turn your pinkies in, reach up, reach your arms up and set them down on your shoulders and sit back like you're sitting down into a chair. Five, four, sit back lower, press your back like you're pressing it against a wall, straighten it out. Two, one, forward fold. Half lift. And come back all the way down. So chaturanga, lowering down, elbows tucked into your sides, core strong and engaged. Inhale to a cobra. And then press back up. And we're gonna go into side plank. So bring your right hand in the middle, bend your elbow slightly, and then reach your left arm up. And then you can also extend your left leg, and that makes it a little harder. And then reach your oblique up, so you're bringing your side up as high as possible. Then you're bringing your foot down, bring your left foot to the middle, I'm sorry, your left hand to the middle now. Spin, and reach your right arm up. Bend your left elbow slightly so it's not completely locked out. And then if you can, 
reach your right leg up and try and bring your hips as high as possible. Create as much distance as you can between your left hip and the ground. Bring your arm back. Roll forward, lower down, and then come into Cobra. Press your tops of your feet into the ground. Engage all the muscles in your legs, and then just peel your chest off the ground. Keep your neck in line. You don't need to look up here like that. Just keep your neck down. Press back up. Do a front leaning rest position. And then go to down dog. Reach your right leg up. Extend it as high as possible. Hold this for a few seconds. Bring your knee to your nose. Come back up. Trying to make your heel as high as possible. Bring your leg forward. To be framed by your hands. Rock forward a little bit so that your heel comes off the ground and you're on the very tips of your toes. Now come up into a crescent warrior and then press your heel back. And that forces your hip flexor to open up a little bit more. Make sure your core here is strong and engaged. And then make sure your arms are pointed straight up. Your knee, your right knee is directly over your right ankle. Your back leg is strong and engaged, so your knee's off the ground. Now we're gonna open up into Warrior Two. Might wanna make a little more distance between your stance. Make sure your arms are level with your shoulders. Create as much distance as possible between your, the tip of your right middle finger and your left middle finger. And then windmill your arms down. And then lower down. Cobra. Exhale. Down dog. Reach your left leg up. As high as possible, hold for a few seconds. Make sure that your right heel is pressed into the ground. And then bring your knee to your nose. Come back up, three-legged dog. And then bring your foot forward. Lift free by your hands. Lower your hands so that you're barely on your toes and your back foot. Move your body forward, so create a little bit of distance between your chest and your thigh, and reach your body forward. Make sure your knee is over your ankle. Bring your arms up. Come into Crescent Warrior. Press hard on your back foot so that your heel is forcing itself toward the ground. And then roll your body up, roll your core in, and get a nice long back. Open up into Warrior Two. Make sure that your heel your front heel is pointed directly toward your back heel. Screw your body up to the side. Bend your knees so that your left knee is over your left ankle. Press your back foot down hard so that your entire bottom of your foot's on the ground. Roll your core in, bring your butt under your body. Bring your arms out, look straight over your middle finger. down, bring your left foot back, lower down, elbows tucked in tight, inhale to cobra, exhale, down dog.
right knee over your right ankle, core engaged and strong, back leg strong. You're gonna bring your arms down, twist, palms open, facing the right side. Make sure that your back leg is still strong, and then reach as far as you can back with your right arm, and reach as far forward as you can with your left arm. Bring your arms back. We're gonna come into airplane now. So bring your arms to prayer, lean your body forward, and come up on your right leg. Make sure that your back leg is straight, strong, heel is pressed towards the back, your toes are coming forward to you, and your arms are at your side with your palms facing the ground. Your chest is above your hips, and you're reaching your body forward. So like someone's pulling on the crown of your head. Then you're gonna to come to standing splits, so bring your arms down, reach your left leg up. So most of the weight can come to your hands. You still wanna have a lot of the weight in your right foot though. And then just reach your left leg up as high as you can. Flex your butt here to do that. Bring your left foot to meet your right foot. Then bring your right foot back. Bring your left foot back. Let's come to a down dog. Reach your left leg back. Left leg forward to be framed by your hands. Bring your arms to your side and then twist 90 degrees to your left. Your left hand is reaching toward the back, palms are open toward the side, and your right arm is reaching towards the front. Make sure that your back leg is still strong and engaged so that your knee doesn't swing down to the ground. Keep it firm and strong. Spin back to middle, and we're gonna come into airplane. So bring your arms to prayer. Spring up onto your left foot. Bring your arms out to the side so that your palms are facing the ground. Extend your right leg out and back. Press your heel as far as you can toward the back. Bring your toes forward toward you. Keep a slight bend in your left knee here. And then reach your chest up and forward. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring your arms down and come into standing splits. Put your right leg up as high as you can. And you can touch your head to your knee if that helps. Or if you want, you can bring your hands behind your shin and pull. And that'll help get a little more stretch as well. Bring your right arm to meet, bring your right foot to meet your left foot. And then bring your left foot back. Bring your right foot back. Lower down, chaturanga. Come into a cobra. And then push back into down dog. Starting from your down dog, reach your right leg up. Bring your right leg forward. To frame by your hands and spin up into warrior two. So back foot spins 90 degrees. Come up with your body facing the side. Press hard down into your back foot. Make sure your knee is over your ankle here. Roll your body, roll your core, your butt under your core. In a nice long spine. Bring your arms up and look straight over your middle finger. See your toes around your knee here. We're gonna come into extended side angle now. I'm sorry, extended, uh, sorry, yeah, extended side angle. So there's a couple ways you can do this. Bring your elbow to your knee just like this. Don't rest it hard there, just kind of lean it there. And then bring your hand over your head and reach. You can imagine like you have this line of energy from your toes and your left foot 
to your tip of your middle finger in your left hand, and then your chest faces the side. Or you can bring your hand to the inside of your leg and open straight up here. Just a little bit of a different sensation. Or if you think you have the flexibility for this, bring your palm to the inside of your hand and then reach straight over. Just a little more in sensation in your hip. Come back up to warrior two. Roll your arms down. What? Switch sides. Warrior two. This time with your left foot in front. Body squared up to the right side now. Back foot strong, pressed into the ground. Knee pulling this way. And you can see your toe around your knee. Bring your butt under your core. Bring your arms up. As much distance between your middle finger and your the tips of your middle fingers as possible. And look straight over. Bring your forearm to your left knee. And then reach over your head. Bring it to the inside of your leg and reach straight up. Or bring your palm to the ground and reach straight over your head. Five. Reaching as far forward as you can with your fingers, pressing down hard as you can. Back to warrior two, feel your arms. Lower down, chaturanga. Inhale to cobra, and then exhale, come to down dog. Reach your right leg up, and your right leg forward. Into a crescent warrior. Now we're going to come into warrior three from here. So interlace your fingers. This flies. Interlace your fingers, point your index fingers up, and then come forward and form a T with your body. So from the side, it looks like this. Keep a micro bend if you want in this knee and make sure this whole leg is engaged. Press your heel back and bring your toes forward. You can engage your core, same as we do in every yoga pose, to help lengthen your body. together so that your arms go as forward as possible and you're gonna try and make your body perfect I'm sorry parallel with the ground your upper body and your right leg so Crescent Warrior, or back to standing if you want. And then we're gonna move on. Back in Down Dog, reach your right leg up, bring your right leg forward, come into Warrior Two. 
a good warrior pose, get wide in your stance, press your knee forward and reach it out to the side, push your back foot down hard, engage your core, and look over your middle finger. Flip your hand, your right hand, bring your left hand behind your back, reach straight up, reverse warrior. Try and create as much length as you can in your side body here. Keep bending into your front leg. Come back to warrior two. Straighten your right leg. Reach your right arm forward as far as possible. And then spin 90 degrees, just windmill. And now you're in triangle pose. Press your right hand into your calf. Reach your left hand up as high as you can. Create as much length as possible. You're gonna try and put your right hip under your left hip here. So you kind of pop it under. Back to warrior two. And now we're gonna come into half moon. So for half moon, Reach forward, bring the weight into your right foot, and you can either put your arm on the ground and reach up like this, or you can bring your arm off the ground. But the power from this pose is gonna come from your core and you pressing your back foot as hard as you can toward the back. And then reach your left arm up, make it perpendicular with the ground in line with your right arm. Half moon. Now we're gonna slightly twist. So come forward so your legs are in warrior three. And we're just gonna twist. So reach your right arm up now. Keep with it if you can. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring your arms down. Bring your left foot to meet your right foot. Spread your legs, just fall forward for a little bit. Slip your fingers under your feet. Gorilla pose. Put your hands out. Jump back into a front plank. Let's go to a down dog. Now you're going to bring your left foot up, bring your left foot forward, spin your back foot 90 degrees, come up into warrior two. This time with your left foot in front. Go through the checklist, so first body squared up to the side, back leg strong, pressed into the ground. Bending forward so your knee is over your ankle, making sure you can see your toes around your ankle, bringing your butt under your core, bringing your body up, have a nice long back, arms out, set them down on your shoulders and look straight over your middle finger. Loop your left hand, bring your right hand behind your back, come into reverse warrior. Out the right side, sorry, the left side of your body. Back to warrior two. We're going up into half moon now. So transfer the weight of your body to your left foot. Come up onto your left foot. Reach your right leg back. Press your heel toward the back. Bring your right hand up. Your hand, arms are in a line here. And then half moon. Make sure that your foot is 90 degrees, so your um, the side of your foot is parallel with the ground. And your back, your back leg is fully extended. You're pressing your heel toward the back. Your toes are coming toward you. If you want for a little more difficulty, you can bring your left hand off the ground and reach. 
Now we're going to spin so that your toe is going to be facing the ground. Reach up strong through your back leg. Bring your right arm in front of you and then twist. So now your left arm is up. Try and keep a nice long spine here if you can. Five, four, three, two, one. Come back. Bring your right foot to meet your left foot. Spread them six inches. And bring your hands under your toe, under your feet, and pull up in your back. Get some nice relief for your lower back here, your upper back, your shoulders, and your hamstrings, hopefully. Pose. Bring your hands to prayer. And now we're going to go into tree pose. So tree pose, you can bring your foot to your calf, or if you have the flexibility, you can bring it to your thigh. And as long as it's not touching your knee, you're okay. If your knee, if you touch, if, I'm sorry, if you're pressing into your knee with your foot, bring it down to your calf, and then try and stand straight. Another way you can do it, bring your leg and press it into your thigh. Make sure that your foot is dorsiflex, and then you can keep it there by the strength of you pressing your leg into your thigh. Now you can just stay here with your hands in prayer, or you can grow your tree however you want. Put them out to the side, put them straight up, turn your arms, whatever you want. Close your eyes for a little more resistance. It's a lot more difficult to balance when you can't see. Or you can come into extended tree. So balancing on one leg, bring your arms down. And start to lower your leg, supporting your leg as you come down. Make sure that your foot is strong and dorsiflexed here. Kind of walk your arms around so that you have a nice straight back when you come up. Lift one arm off the ground and start to lift the other one off the ground. If you fall, you fall, no big deal. But it's another fun, fun thing to do in yoga, working on your balance. And the slower you go into it, the better. So to come out of it, press your hands firmly into the ground and straighten your leg. Then come up, bring your hands back to prayer. Set your right foot on the ground. Opposite side now. So make sure that your right foot is strong, gripping the ground, legs engaged. Bring your left foot off the ground and bring your left foot into whatever version of tree pose you feel like. Press it into your calf, move it up a little higher, press it into your thigh. Just make sure you're not touching your knee. Or if you want, bring it over and press your side of your leg into the thigh of your right leg and then to go down from here come into prayer pose sorry prayer hands right here make sure this toe is this foot is flexed you can also start to grow your tree get branches whatever you want to do whatever you feel like you want to do the whatever you want whatever works for you you can reach up close your eyes or if you want, you can work on your one leg balance. So for this, you reach your arms all the way down, touch the, arm, touch the ground with your fingers, and then start to bend in your leg. Make sure your foot's strong and flexed. And then you can walk your arms behind you and slowly transition into this. back up, come to prayer, and then set your left foot down. Okay. One more standing pose I want to do. 
bring your leg up just like this. Engage your core so that your core is strong here. Turned up, pelvis turned up. Bring your uh, your knee so it's just below. I'm sorry. Bring your ankle so it's below your knee, and then extend your leg out. Your back is straight here. You're not leaning back. Backs nice and straight. Core is engaged, and your core engaged is going to help you bring that leg up. Bring your arms up, and then if you reach your arms up, you're going to get a little more, just a few more inches here. challenge yourself, grab the inside of your big toe with your right arm, and then reach out. Reach the side, and your left arm go to the left side, and bring your, bring your, um, your leg to the outside, right leg to the outside right. Whew. Something fun to do. Anyways, from there, bring your leg back in. Keep a nice strong core, and then lower down. Lower your arms, shake it out, opposite side. Bring your left leg up. Make sure your right leg is nice and strong here. So grip the feet, grip your ground with your feet, with your toes. Make sure that your knee is slightly bent. Bring your knee up to um, to waist height, and then kick your leg out. If you're pressing your heel out, you're bringing your toes back toward you. And reach your arms up, get a little bit more length. Reach a little higher, bring your toes up just a little bit more. Squeeze your core, bend your knee, grab the inside of your big toe with your left foot, reach out. And try and extend the side. Oof. That's tough. And then come back down. If you can, do it in control. If you can't, whatever. Then we're going to come onto our, our knees now. I'm gonna come into half splits. So let's start with your right knee back. Bring your left foot forward. Create a little distance. From here, you're gonna press your heel into the ground as hard as you can. And then imagine like you're dragging it back. So pull it back into you. Try and pull it into your shin here. So you're getting a really nice stretch for your hamstring. chest, you're trying to fold your chest into your thigh. So now we're going to do a little bit of arm balances. So first one, let's do crow pose. So come to a squat, bring your elbows into your knees, bring your arms forward, start to rock forward, squeeze your core. Now at this point, squeeze your core in. Squeeze it like you were bringing your knee into your chest from one of these exercises. So you're really tightening up your core here, and that's going to allow your arms to concentrate on holding your upper body up 
and your upper body is going to squeeze your legs, in, I'm sorry, your core is going to control your legs so that there's less pressure on your arms. Make sure that you're pressing into the outsides of your fingers too, not just into your palms. Bring your left foot off the ground and then just bring your right foot off the ground and balance here. And you want to straighten your arms, that's the full extension. Bring your heels together at the back and squeeze your core. This will help keep your legs off the ground. And hold that as long as you want. Pro pose. Let's also do some side crow today. Um, actually, let's do one more crow pose. So you can do that same way, or you can bring your knees up into your armpit as high as you can so that your legs, knees up are as high on your arms as you can. And then you roll forward like that. Make sure your arms are extended, pressing into your fingertips, not just in your palms. And then you're back. Now let's do side crows too. Um, side crow. So face the side. Bring your elbow all the way over to the middle of your thigh. Root your arm down. And this is more, this is really upper body strength. This is more balancing. This is more getting the right, the right, um, what's the word? Getting the right configuration of your hands, getting your arms in the right place so that when you come up, it's, it's you know, you don't overload one side. It's really about just finding the right balance. And then start to lean into the side, and then you just come up the side. Keep your legs squeezed together. You can do some leg variations here. And then just come out. So let's do the opposite side now. Reach your right left arm up all the way. Bring it to the outside of your right thigh. Twist your body so you're facing the front with your upper body. Your knees are pointed toward the back. Bring your right arm in line with your left arm. And then just lean over. Twist your body so that your when you come up, you want to pull your body this way so that it's like from here up, it's all facing the front. And then that twist happens from here to here. And your legs, in some point between here and here, your legs are facing that way. And this is the twist from here to here. And then your upper body is all facing the front. Um, so what I mean by that, again, this twist. Then when I come over, you can see from here to here, it's squared up toward, um, so just below where my chest begins, and above, it's all squared up toward um, toward the front. And then my legs are facing the sides. So you can see that I'm twisting in my upper body. And then again, if you wanna do some legs, play around with it, you know? It's fun, it's yoga. All right, so, from here we're gonna move to our back. Sorry, we're gonna move to our chest now. This is the, uh, the chest portion, I'm sorry, the, the lower back strengthening portion of this. So you're gonna come to your chest, all the way down, oh yeah, right in the grass. And we're gonna come into cobra. Press the tops of your feet into the ground. Engage your muscles in your legs so that your knees come off the ground and then just peel your chest off the ground Now squeeze your shoulder blades together And come up just a little bit more And just keep trying to come up a little bit higher. Make sure you're breathing here and Lower down Walk your arms out to the side like You're doing some sort of weird spider-man push-up same thing, push your feet into the ground, your tops of the feet on the ground, engage your legs, knees come off the ground, and then reach up. Walk your leg, your arms back a little bit, squeeze your shoulders together, just get a little bit more extension in your chest, come off a little bit higher. And bring your arms off entirely and hold it. Five, four, three, two, one, lower down. All right, we're gonna do 
one more stretch. Sorry, one more with the lower back on your chest. Reach your arms forward. You're gonna come into full lunge. Okay. So the right, the right leg is pointed toward a like a 30 degree angle. Left leg as well. Your arms gonna reach out in line with your shoulders. And then when you reach up, you're going to extend in all directions as far as you can. So your right arm is going to reach up and right. Your left arm is going to reach up and left. Right leg is reaching back. Left leg is reaching back. Creating as much distance as possible between your legs. I'm sorry, between the tips of your fingertips and your toes. So, on an inhale, come up. And reach, and then try and arch. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower down, press back into child's pose. So knees come out to the side. Your heels drop toward your heels drop toward. Sorry, your butt drops to your heels, and your arms are in front of you, extended as far as possible. And then you press into your hands so it presses your butt a little bit deeper into your heels. poses. We're going to come into bridge pose. So bring your butt up as far as you can to your heels. Hands are at your sides, palms into the ground. Press up in your hips. Keep your, make sure that your knees are close together here, about hip width distance, or about this much distance apart, about two fist widths. And then reach up, so just push up in your feet up as high as you can in your hips and walk your shoulders under your body interlace your fingers under your body and reach forward and press up higher and hold this for 10 breaths 10 9 8 7 6 Five, four, three, two, one. Lower down. Bring your knees into your chest. Squeeze them tight. Roll back and forth a little bit. Massage your lower back. Second pose, you can do that same pose again, or you can go into a wheel pose. So the wheel pose. Wheel pose, you're gonna reach your arms behind you like this. So they're gonna be, if you were looking at me from this direction, and I was down there, my head was facing up, feet in that direction, my hands gonna look like this. So not like this, turn them out just a little bit. And then your feet are going to be the same width distance apart that they are in bridge pose. You don't want to have your feet coming apart like this when you go up. That defeats the purpose of it. You're not strengthening your lower back at that point. You're doing something else. So bring your heels as close as you can as your butt. Walk your arms behind you. Again, get that nice little twist. And then reach up through your hips. Press up through your arms come up into wheel pose. So you can extend your legs here. The more you straighten your legs, the harder it is. You can also push up your hands. You can also walk your arms in with a little more resistance. Make sure that your neck is in line with your back here. You don't need to look under like that. And then press up harder through your hands. Get a little bit more of a stretch.
five, four, three, two, one. Lower down very slowly. Poses. Lay down on your back. Reach your legs straight up. Point your toes toward you. So bring your toes toward you. Press your heels away from you. Reach up. Grab the opposite toe. And then just let your arm lay out to one side. You can also bring it in if you want like this. Try and extend it as much as you can though. Let your right leg come to the ground. your back. Try and keep your arm, your left arm on the ground. And then you can apply some pressure to your to your right knee. Helps you get a little better twist. Come back to middle. Reset yourself. Reach straight up, grab your left toe, let your left, I'm sorry, grab your right toe, let your left leg fall to the ground, reach up, and then bring your left leg to the side, and bring your right arm to the side, you can also just put your hand on your knee, left hand on your right knee, and open up your back a little bit. back. Alright. Go up into a seated position. Put your left leg straight out. Bring your right leg, I'm sorry, right leg straight out. Bring your left leg over your right leg. Get up with a nice straight back. Bring your left arm, left hand behind your body. Reach your right arm up and your elbow comes to the outside of your left knee and twist. Press up through your fingertips and your back in your back hand, I mean. And then twist your body as much as possible, but use your core strength to twist your body. Don't just, you know, crank your arm against your against your knee. As men, you're gonna have a, wanna have a tendency to do that. If you are a man, I'm sorry. Men will have a tendency to do that. So try and avoid that. Try and use your core strength more. And then you can turn around all the way so that your head's facing the back. Come out of that. Little counter twist. Switch your legs so left leg is straight out. Right leg over your left leg. Bring your right arm behind your body. Left arm comes straight up. Left elbow comes to outside of right knee and twist. So the straighter your back here, the better. Get a nice straight back and then start twisting. Don't get a crunch back and go like this. Sit up straight. Just like your dad said and your mom said when you were a kid. And then look behind you. Come out of the twist. And we're gonna do a hurdle stretch now. So bring your right leg in, left leg out. Bend your knee, interlace your fingers underneath your leg, underneath your, your foot. Bend your knee as much as you possible to do this. Push it out and then reach over. So you wanna have your upper body squared up to whichever leg you're stretching. And then you're trying to reach your chest forward. So pull your chest forward. Don't just fold down here. Like pull your belly button up your thigh. And then try and reach your chest to your toes.
relax. Switch legs now. Right leg comes out in front, left leg comes to your inner right thigh. Bend your right leg, bring your hands under your foot, push it out, square your upper body toward your right leg now, and then pull your chest forward. both legs forward, reach up, so flex all the muscles in your legs, so flex your toes, flex your calves, flex your thighs, reach up as high as possible, staff pose, trying to get your back perpendicular with the ground, so bring your lower back up too, imagine like someone's pulling your arms up, and then fold forward, try to bring your chest as far as you can forward, grab your toes, grab the underneath of your feet, bottoms of your feet, and pull forward. Last stretch of the day. And then let your head fall. getting through the whole video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. Hope your hamstrings feel great. Hope your lower back problems go away entirely. But you're going to need to keep doing yoga to do that. So, Namaste.